Here's a question asking us, which table does not show bivariate data? Now, before we look at these tables, we're just going to stop and review what bivariate data is. Because this is one of those questions where you just you have to know what the word means in order to answer the question, which I think should be avoided on tests altogether, especially math tests, because um, really what we're trying to focus on here is the mathematics, the problem solving, right? But anyway, um, this is not such a bad word to memorize or to know about. I, and I guess there's two types of data we should be aware of here. So there's data, and we can look at univariate data, right? And in this case, they're asking for bivariate data. And the difference is that what univariate data looks at is some kind of single value, right? It's not really a comparison. That's what bivariate data, data gives us. So univariate data is a single value or a list of values, but it's not right, making a comparison. Whereas in bivariate data, the opposite's happening here. With bivariate data, we have right two values that are related. And we're using those two values to make a comparison. So we're going to make comparisons. And frequently what you'll hear with bivariate data is, is the terms independent, right, and dependent variables. That's describing right the two values or variables that you're looking at. So really, I guess I should say that bivariate data looks at two variables, whereas univariate data looks at single variables. And examples of univariate data, anytime you look at the mean of something, the mode, right, or the median, what you're doing is you're looking at data and averaging them out in some way to come up with a single number. And it allows you to kind of look at that and make a determination, but it doesn't allow you to compare things. That's the main difference here. Bivariate data looks at variables that are related and that affect each other. So actually, this question gives us some good samples here to look at. So let me clear this off. Right. Okay. So here there are one, two, three, four tables. And we're looking for the one that is not a bivariate data table. In the first table, is this bivariate? Well, yes, right? The two variables are height and the weight. And I would say here the height is the independent va variable, right? Your height is independent, and your weight is usually determined by its dependent on the height that you have, right? The taller you are, the more you weigh, and that even happens here. The, the tallest person weighs the most. Of course, it's, always, it's not always consistent like that, but but we know that as you grow, you have more mass and thus more weight. So of course these two things are connected. In the second table over here, we have the gallons and the miles driven. Well, here this is kind of reversed, right? Because the miles that you want to drive, right, depend on the amount of gas you're able to buy. So here, I guess I'll, I'm, it's almost the same thing, right? The independent variable is the amount of gallons you're buying. And the miles driven, right, they're only possible, they depend on the number of gallons you buy. So the more gas you buy, the more miles you're able to drive. So really, I guess, for me, I looked at this column first, but still depends on the gallons. Same format. In the fourth table, we'll skip over here, we have the speed you're going and the amount of distance you're going. And of course, those two are connected. This is also another example of bivariate data, because... Well, the faster you go, the more mileage you can cover, right? Here, assuming that nothing gets in our way, but here, when I'm going 40 miles per hour, I go 80 miles, right? When I go 50 miles per hour, I'm able to cover 120 miles. And then when I go 55 miles per hour, I'm able to cover 150 miles. So you see that the more mile per hour, or the higher your speed, excuse me, the more distance you can actually cover. The only one here that's not bivariate is this table. Table 3. This is a univariate table because on the one hand we're looking at quiz averages. That's one type of variable. On the other we're looking at frequency. Well, 
that's another variable. But it's still univariate data because here the quiz average that you got doesn't depend on the number of people that got that quiz average. Right? The assumption is that everyone's working on their own. And at the end, when you, when you look at the these quiz scores, you happen to find that six people got 90s, 15 people got 80s, and 12 people got 70. This is a univariate table. Right? It's not it's not as if the, the average I got determines the frequency at which it will occur. It's possible for everyone to get a 90. It's possible for everyone to get an 80. And it's possible for everyone to get a 70, or any other score for that matter. Right? These are independent of each other. They're not related, so it's a univariate um, table. All right, hope this helped.